Hi, I'm John Douglas, the offering manager for IBM Maximo Predict. I'll be demonstrating IBM Maximo Health and Maximo Predict. Targeted to the reliability engineer, Maximo Health Predict provide a view of the current state of an enterprise's assets and project future conditions of those assets. Together, they arm the reliability engineer with AI-powered insights to take actions to extend the life of the assets, reduce maintenance costs, and eliminate unplanned downtime. Maximo Health and Predict share many of the same screens and are tightly integrated. Base users of Maximo Application Suite will see Maximo Health at the top of each screen, while premium users will see Maximo Predict, along with columns, charts, and graphs specific to their predictive models that are scoring assets. Since Health and Predict are delivered in the Maximo Application Suite, it's easy to start with Health and then move to Predict. The demo will follow these steps. First, I'll introduce the concept of work queues, how they can be used to identify assets in poor health and to help manage your workload. Next, we'll investigate assets in poor health. And finally, Take an action to address one of those assets. The easiest way to identify assets in poor health is by using the work queue feature. Work queues are pre-configured views designed to help you find what you're looking for and to manage your day-to-day -day activities. There are a number of work queues included. For our purposes here, there's a work queue for assets with a low health score. For each work queue on the page, we have the option to view a complete list of assets in that queue or move immediately to the first asset on the list and start our analysis. I'll select the low health work queue to see all of the assets with scores in the lowest health range. In this work queue, we can see that there are 10 assets that fall into the lowest health range. The work queue is sorted to show assets from lowest health score to the highest. Risk tolerances can vary among industries, asset types, and enterprises. We can define the health scoring ranges specific to our tolerance level within the health and predict application. We can even assign our own colors. Formulas for health scores are also created within the health and predict application. A health score can be as simple as a single meter reading or composed of various factors and formulas. I'll select the first asset in the queue as we start to manage our workload for the day, investigating and addressing all of the assets with low health. The health score of an asset is a crucial piece of the puzzle when investigating an asset in poor health. However, other KPIs about the asset can also help us determine what action to take. We can find all the asset information presented on a single page in easy to read tables, charts, and graphs. On the top of the page, I see details about my asset and KPIs that give me a snapshot of its current state. For this asset, we have a health score of 22, which is in our red zone. We can also see that it has dropped five points since it was last calculated. This asset also has a criticality and risk score. We can see that this asset has 40% of its remaining useful life based on the install date and manufacturer's recommended life. We can see that our asset is projected to fail in the next 90 days, but our next maintenance isn't planned for 120 days. Another performance indicator can be the ratio of how much we've spent maintaining the asset over its life as compared with its replacement costs, or MRR. In this case, we spent the equivalent of 33% of the replacement cost. When we started our investigation, we knew that the asset's health score was low. Just by looking at the KPIs, we have additional information that this asset is in trouble and some action needs to be taken. Below the KPI section, we can see more information about our asset, which comes directly from our EAM system, in this case, Maximo Manage, also included with the Maximo application suite. Note that Maximo Health and Predict can also connect and receive information from other EAM systems. There's a breakdown of health score drivers and factors that give us insight into what's causing its poor health. For this asset and the assets in the same group, we can see the health score is a weighted average of condition, cost, remaining useful life, and age. There are several predictive models built to score against incoming sensor data for our asset. IBM Predict includes templates to help our data scientists get started building models to project days to failure, calculate probability of failure, detect anomalies, and generate an asset life curve based on group asset deployment and retirement dates. These templates include a large number of algorithms and can automatically select the one that best fits our data for the optimal outcome. Note that also included with Maximal Application Suite is Watson Studio and Watson Machine Learning both of which our data scientists can use for building, training, and maintaining predictive models. In the case of our asset, our model tells us that it's projected to fail in 90 days, plus or minus 10 days, and that failure will be due to leaking. Depending on the richness of our failure data, our data scientists can build predictive models for specific failure modes, and we can select those failure modes within the widget to see the projection for each. We can see an example of how different failure modes impact our predictions in the failure probability widget. It shows a 52% probability of failure in the next six months due to overheating. The factors that contribute to failure show which factors from our training data impact failures the most, giving us an indication of what may lead to future failures. Our anomaly detection widget and our history shows that we've exceeded the threshold generated by our model. At the bottom of the page is an asset timeline 
that shows us several pieces of key information about our asset in the same graph. For example, we can see that I have predicted failure on the top of the graph that will occur before our next plan maintenance on the second line of the graph. While each piece of information or widget gives us insight into the state of our asset, all of the information together gives us a richer view and helps us make data-driven decisions on how to address the low health of our asset. To take an action, we can simply scroll to the top of the asset detail page and select the action button. We can create a service request, create a work order, recalculate a health score, or edit the asset record. In this case, I'll create a work order to schedule preventive maintenance to avoid asset failure and unplanned downtime. Once filled out, I click Create to set a work order. On the Asset Detail page, I can select that I have addressed the asset, then use the arrow to move to the next item in our queue. With Maximo Health and Predict, the process of identifying assets in poor health, investigating and taking actions is made easy with the use of work queues, health scores, predictive model templates, and a single asset detail page from which we can view all of our assets information and initiate an action. And they provide all the necessary tools for our reliability engineer to make AI assisted decisions, whether the goal is to extend the life of the asset, eliminate unplanned downtime, or save on maintenance costs.